Well, what is going on guys? My name is Casey Dia and welcome back to Ark's File Evolved and we're here again in our little hatching, I don't know, I'd call it a hut, I wouldn't really call it a house, but our hatching hut. And today we are hatching some pteranodons because, well, what happened was we've, um, over our time in this server we've had um, a couple of base explorations and they've had some eggs that they've uh, haven't hatched and we kind of said hey we don't we have stuff for these and they're pretty high level so we'll take them and it's an iguanodon over there and a parasaur and a mascops but whatever um but yeah we're just hatching them because they're pretty high level this one's parents were how big how much 213 and 236 so it was not crazy high but it was still decently high like it could have been 250 a piece which is kind of nuts but we've kind of had that because i've had this Rex is, what is it, like, 3, 316, and the parent, her parents are, they were 268 and 340, so that was pretty high. I would have liked, honestly, I so would have liked to get a, um, a mutation on one of the Rexes, but I guess we'll deal with that later. Can you fly, or do you only walk? I can't even see it. Do you... You probably only walk. Oh, God. Well, let's just disable wandering, and let's get this on high. No, 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 no. Tahid group of souls. Highest. Highest. Low. And lowest. Okay. Follow. I figured he'd like... Or, are you a she or a he? You are a she. Okay. I figured, like, she'd fly. Even though I like, I know with baby birds they don't fly, but I figured it's you know it's arc, it's not that realistic. It'd be kind of cool to see a baby pteranodon fly though. Oh god. Oh, you are very very slow. What level? How much? Okay, so you have seventeen hundred health, two hundred sixty nine percent melee damage, four hundred twelve stamina. So let's comp. Uh, do you need food? Ah. Let's compare you to the pteranodon right here. So seventeen hundred health. 269% percent stamina, or damage. So we already have more health, you have less melee damage, but this has been leveled up, so there is a difference. You might be saying, why don't I pick it up with Pteranodon? Well, it's another Pteranodon, you can't pick up birds with other birds. Because that's just how arc goes, and it kind of makes sense, but whatever. What I need to do, oh god, this is going to take like 15 minutes just to get to there. Ugh. There's like a mile for this thing. Come on. I can't pick it up, I don't think. Oh my god. Ah, well, it's going to be the next five minutes. Easy, steady. Don't want to go too fast now, baby. Turn it on. You don't want to like get the blistering speeds of five miles an hour. What's weird is that it's not actually making the adult sounds. Did they change that? I mean, it's making the adult sound. It's just like a like a smaller tone. Hmm. Unless that's the sound it actually makes. I haven't heard it in a little bit. Maybe they change the sound that pteranodons make when they walk. I don't know. Do you need food? We have, I think it's like the two other or three other eggs that are like the same kind of thing. And we're kind of running low on pteranodons, because now that the flyer nerf happened, they're really slow, and you gotta land a lot, and they get killed really easily, because it's a pteranodon, and doesn't even have 2,000 health yet, so... Or at all, period. The one, other one doesn't even have 2,000 health. But, um, their advantage is they have a higher movement speed by 35%, because, uh, RGs are only at 100%, and the reason for that is, I don't know why, I guess pteranodons are smaller and lighter, and they can move faster. I guess that's the reasoning with that, which totally makes sense, but... Yep, with the fly flyer nerf, stamina took a huge hit, movement speed took a huge hit, and I don't want to say they're completely useless, they're still usable for getting around, but they're not really useful for carrying weight or anything else. Because back before the update, you could have um, had like a couple RGs or a, um, a quetz and just carried a ton of weight really easily um, without like... Of course, you still had a penalty to movement speed the more weight you put on, but, um, yeah, like, they're totally useless for that crap now. Like, they're slow, like, they're slower now, and they're even slower with more weight on, so that's kind of crap. 
But what can you do? I mean, there are people who have actually quit Ark because of that update. Like, there are people on this server who have actually legitimately. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix my sock. Um, who have legitimately quit Ark. Like, have actually stopped playing. Period. And I don't know if that's like. I don't know if they're just um, overreacting, which I think it is slightly. Like, it's just an update. Like, it's not the end of the world. It's just a game. But um, if that many people are actually... Um, oh, God, don't tell me. Ugh. Hate, hate, hate. Hiss, hiss. God, snares. Other adjectives to make some convey hate. Um, Come on. Can you please get up this? Oh god, don't tell me you can't. Oh, <laughs> why? Why can't- why? Why? Why must you do this? Why can't I just put it on my freaking shoulder like a jerboa? It's literally smaller and weighs less. I honestly do feel like you should be able to just pick up baby anything. Like, let's- okay. I don't think you want to be able to pick up a baby Rex. I think it probably weighs 300 pounds on its own. Just by its given size. Drop the spoiled meat. Oh my god. Drop the spoiled meat. Thank you. I feel like you should be able to pick them up. Like you can a dodo. It's smaller than a dodo. Like just pick it up and hold it in front of you. Well, this is crap. Um, Can I really not pick him up with a bird? I feel like I should be able to. I know you... I'm pretty sure you can't, but if you can, that's awesome, and if you can't, what the hell? Seriously. Like, if I can pick up a baby Rex with an RG, I should be able to pick up a baby Pteranodon with a Pteranodon. Oh, of course not. Hey, you know this thing that you should probably be able to do that's really easy and makes it way easier to, you know, race things? Yeah? Uh, let's have them not do that anymore, because it makes it even harder to race something. Good idea, Johnson. You probably couldn't do it before, but whatever. Um... Well, this kind of sucks. Um, so, it's at point oh three. So these are, um, the reason why I did this, if it was something else, I probably wouldn't have done it because I still have the Therizinosaurus in there and it's only an adolescent after fucking, like, what, three days? Ugh. Whatever it happens, at, like, 80% or something like that. Um, but, a little update on the Therizinosaurus. I will, um, that's, that's obviously not Therizinosaurus, that is a T-Rex. <laughs> um, but... He's an adolescent now. He's not so small. Or she? He? She. She's not so small anymore. And she could probably eat my face very, very easily with her, like, duck bill with duck nose holes and duck face and claws of something else. Some other animal that I have no idea what it is and duck feet and, like, sloth tail. I, I, I don't know. Anyway. Um... I was thinking about breeding um, that 316 Rex down there with one of these. God damn it, I need food. And there's some berries in here, I believe, that I can eat. I'm on that berry diet, you know? Way more nutritious than meat. Less heart disease than meat. God damn it, I press T again. Whatever. Eat seven of these, because that's totally to help my nourishment. Um. So, what was I saying? I completely forgot. Oh, I was gonna breed one of the Rexes with my other Rex. So, um, <coughs> um, so this one is 274, but I believe they're both female. I'm pretty sure. So that's not gonna happen. Um, I think only one of these, two of these, is female. Cause you're female, right? Yeah, you're a female. You're 265, which is cool. Um, you're 274, but you're also a female. Um, this one is male, but you're 190, uh, 192, I mean, eh, you have 500, almost 500% movement, uh, movement speed, melee damage, that'd be crazy on a wreck, just go halfway across the map in seconds. Dillo, I, uh, you're a female, well, shit, um, what happened to the one male that I had? Oh, you're in betwixt the other ones, three-headed wrecks. Anyway, um, 267, but I don't, I have no idea what level it, um, it spawned at. Like, it could have spawned at 150, and they've had it for this long, because look how much XP. 80,000 XP, so I have no idea how much melee damage it had to start. I have no idea how much health it had to start. But, um, I could just breed them to get the line better with that 316's genes. 
316's genes. Hey, it rhymes. Um, anyway, just to get the, uh, the gene pool all, um, all decently high level with good stats, or I could just give the low level ones that have kind of crap stats away to lower level players who don't have, um, who don't have very much and they need something that they can use to kill other things off so they don't have to worry about a goddamn Therizinosaurus like this one out in the wild killing everything they have. So a Rex would be awesome. I had, if you've watched a couple of my videos in the past, I have had um, more Rexes than this. I think I had, what do I have here? I have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven counting that one. I think I had like nine or... 10 before here i'm not entirely sure but i gave some of them away to um just so that i could weed out the low level ones that i tamed away before i even started breeding them um so yeah just to help out low level players because i do know that it does suck being a low level player in this game and having everyone already built all their stuff and being powerful and whatnot and you probably need some food but whatever um but yeah i do want to breed them with some high level ones. I would totally do it with Brittany or a little ass kicker, but um they're female, so you can't if you know anything about anatomy of any animal on the planet, besides like I don't know, amoeba or uh clownfish, the ones that can change their gender based on the clan's needs or the uh, school's need I guess or whatever. Um can't make female with female, sadly. Um <laughs> Because that'd be really nice because these two are pretty high levels. I did I breed this one? No, it's totally wild. So wait, what? 274. What? How would I get it to 274 wild? Oh, duh. Taming it, but it's 150, so it's like 200 and something. So okay, that makes sense. This one I did breed though. I did breed this one, I know for a fact. 265 and 240. What did I do with this one? Did I give it away? I totally might have. No, it's over here, you dingus. Um, yeah, I did with this one and 240 Rex. I don't know which one that really is. Is it this one? Like, is it actually this one? I I don't know. But has 12,000 health and 454% melee damage. I couldn't say it because I said it too fast. Um. But I do not think that it came with 12,000 health base. It was probably like 8,000. But um, I don't remember what the three, three what level 300 or something Rex is um health came out at first. But it has um, let's go over here. Hey man, what's up? What's Diego and uh, Sid up to? Probably just you know around getting into hijinks that they always end up doing. And then what is Scrat doing? Like making icebergs crack in half? Yep, usual. Just up to the usual. Um, but. She has 20,000 health and 717% melee damage with 56% imprinting. And if you don't know what imprinting is, it makes it so you get a stat buff to um, the person who did the imprinting. So I get a some percent stat buff to this Rex when I'm riding it. So you see... Um, one second. Get on. So you see that little, like, two fists clashing in the top right-hand corner? That means it's, like, the imprinting stuff. So me specifically, only I get that stat buff while I'm riding this Rex. So that's pretty cool. God, get off. But this Rex, 316, does 6,000 and, like, 6 damage per bite. Which is freaking nuts, because some of the some of the ones I have only do, like, 1,500. That's a little bit of a comparison for you. So, what, you're at 0.6%, 0.6%, and, yeah, 1700 health, 269% melee damage, 135% movement speed, we can't change that, obviously, because this doesn't have the plus sign or the addition to add levels, but we can do health, stamina, and melee damage, you have 412 stamina, how much do you have... 492, so it's not that far off. This is 230, what level are you? 207, so not that many levels from apart, but this is wild, though. Um, I don't know if it is, if it says it's wild because someone else um, bred it. I don't believe it will, but I'm not entirely sure. Don't hold me to that. I, I don't think it would say that it's wild. It's possible, but I really don't think so. I think I have had a, oh god, 
I have had a Rex that someone else has bred, and it is, um, it did show the ancestors. 6,002 damage, as you can see. I don't know about these Allosauruses, I might just give them away because we're totally not, we're not going to do anything with the damn things. 1,200 DPS with one bite. Then we have the 130 Spinosaur, which is not even a, like, not even a good comparison at all. Um, let's just do melee damage. 304% melee damage. He does a little spine dance, ready? Wait for it, there you go. Um, <laughs> so, and the Spinosaur only does 1,700 per bite, but you can bite faster, see? I'm not sure if it's totally faster, but like, so te if you look at it, um, once one Rex bite does about the equivalent of a couple um, Spinosaurus's bite. But if you look at it this way, um, they're not even like on the same tier. That Rex is bred and has good stats. That, well, this Spinosaurus is also bred, but it doesn't have great stats. Um, anyway. <laughs> and then there's the whole argument of whether a Spinosaur or a T Rex would win. My my little stance on that is that even though a Spinosaur is bigger, I do believe that a T-Rex might have won. Even though they would have never even met each other, I do not believe, because a T-Rex was in like North America and a Spinosaur was in North Africa. So I really doubt they would have ever met at all. What is attacking me? Anyway, um, my argument for that is... One, they would have never met, I don't believe, ever, because they're in two different continents. Um, and T-Rex is built for power and just total out, outright strength. Bites, bite strength, I'm pretty sure T-Rex would win. But um, my other argument is that um, Spinosaurus were evolutionary like products of getting fish. So they never would have actually fought, well, I'm sure they did when it was necessary, but I really doubt they ever fought um, other dinosaurs. They would have probably just eaten fish and other things, hence the webbed feet and the um, webbed feet, the spine, the tail, all good things for swimming. So that's a total thing. Although I do believe, my personal opinion, that a Spinosaur is... Um, I do believe a Spinosaur looks way more badass and more aggressive, but um, an actual Spinosaurus, not one in this game, its spine would have not have um, would have not been like that. It's more, it's not peaked and then comes back down. It's more like it goes up and then it kind of like goes into like a rectangle sort of shape, like flattens out and then it goes back down. And they didn't have um, they walked on four legs, but it was not, like, feet like this. They had, like, hands that were kind of like a T-Rex's, but way bigger and had, like, bigger claws. And they kind of walked on their uh, little hands instead of, like, feet like this. So it is a little different. Um, they're the same head shape and everything, but just because it's in a game doesn't mean it's exactly what it was like. The spine was different. The front feet were different. And I don't believe they had fins on their legs like that, pretty sure. But, um, mouth was the same, but... Yeah, they're made for getting fish. They're not made for killing T-Rexes. I don't think they would have they would have never met. So that's just my stance. Even though I love a Spinosaurus, it's my favorite dinosaur ever. I do believe a T-Rex would have won. But given if you play into like random generation thing, it it probably would have won depending on the sizes, of course, and the age. If it was a young T-Rex versus a really old Spinosaur, obviously that it's not even a fight. But anyway. We have this, wherever it is right there, pteranodon that won't go up the angle there, and it kind of sucks, got to sit here until it can get up there. I don't even know if it ever will, because it won't fly, I don't think, but that kind of sucks, but I'm going to leave this video here, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hug the like button, like me other, and I'll see you guys next.